Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Welcome to another Tales from the Trip. This one is gonna be a pretty epic one. Look in the back of the, of the window here. We got Miss Becky driving me to the airport and poor girl's got a cold or hay fever or something. So she's yeah. kind of feeling miserable, right babe? Yes. Yes. Uh. Kansas uh, <laughs> summer here. Yes. So you see in the back seat that I have a back pack okay so that's not your normal uh <laughs> luggage for a trip however what i'm doing is i uh, i bought a car in redding california and uh so i'm flying to redding today i'm gonna get there about three o'clock this afternoon <clears throat> my flight leaves it's not too bad it's about 9 45 in the morning so we're headed to the airport not not too bad of a schedule but, uh, and then I'm gonna pick up this car and drive it to San Francisco, California. I'm gonna hang out and meet with my cousin, Mike. Uh, we grew up together and, uh, and it's kind of interesting. We, you know, we always had a lot of fun and then, you know, just uh, life happens and we fell out of touch for years and years. And then literally a couple years ago, I went to Monterey Car Week for the first time and, uh, and we met up and kind of reconnected. So, so cool to, to reconnect with such an awesome family member. Uh, so I'll be hanging out with Mike um, uh, tonight. I'll get to his house, hopefully, because <laughs> this is an old car that I'm picking up. It's an 84 Mustang GT350 convertible 20th anniversary. And uh, the kicker is, is it's a 505 speed. And uh, this gentleman that I'm picking it up from, his dad bought it brand new, and it's got about 40,000 miles on it. So it's it's an oldie, but a goodie, and I'm, and I'm going to drive it to San Francisco tonight. And then what I'm gonna do is head out tomorrow down to Monterey Car Week. And this Mustang is gonna be my get around transportation, for Monterey Car Week. I'm gonna check out some auctions down there. You never know, I may buy another car um, and hang out and check out the, all the sights and sounds and, and uh, flavors of Monterey Car Week. Uh, but <laughs> what I'm gonna do though, is the reason to bring the backpack into this story is I'm actually going to tent camp at Monterey. Um, hotels, bed and breakfast, everything is just super expensive and and uh, you know, always booked up so far in advance. And uh, so I'm like, you know what? I actually just did a epic uh, hiking adventure on the Appalachian Trail with my good friend, uh, Brian from Epicenter Garage. And uh, if I can survive a week on the Appalachian Trail, I can survive a week in Monterey at a nice groomed uh, <laughs> camping park. So that's the plan, headed to the airport right now. And then, well, Part three, I mean, it's kind of three stage deal here. Uh, getting the car, um, headed down Monterey Car Week, drive the car around Monterey Car Week, and then I'm going to drive this Mustang from Monterey, California, all the way back to the miles. Kansas. Uh, I don't even know, do I want to know the miles? <laughs> It's literally, I mean, 24 hours. It's like seven, I think it's about 1,700 miles. 1,700 miles. I did four, 12, what'd you do with the Lotus? I did uh, 1,400 to Idaho, but that was pulling a horse trailer. Yeah, I don't remember. I mean, the Lotus is probably similar, but probably further than the Lotus. I don't know, probably or on par with the Lotus. Yeah. But uh, I knew the Lotus condition, and even it <laughs> still failed me in Denver. The alternator died on it, and uh, there's a whole series of, uh, of videos on that check it out uh be sure to watch you know dig through the archives to check out that lotus uh, uh video and and uh but anyway so i'm driving this 84 mustang back to kansas convertible yeah and so, the tires are they're not new new mm, from the, i mean they, they're not the ones that from when it was new. They're, they're new in depth let's put it that they're way new they're new in depth and this is the the crazy thing they're TRX Michelin tires, so they're metric. No they're 220, 55, it. 390. There will be no such thing as a replacement tire on the road for this car. Um, you won't be able to stop at like discount tire. What's the tire? There's for? no <laughs> tires. It's Coker <laughs> tire, is it? Yeah. 
Coker tire is the only one they reproduced the uh, Michelin tires. They bought the molds from Michelin and we actually put, you know, new TRX on the Alpine. Uh, but then on a Capri that had TRX, we pulled the TRX wheels and tires off and put on uh, reproductions in 16 inch. So they look original, which is really cool because these are really cool looking wheels. And, uh, but this one has the real deal on it. And, uh, <laughs> Kicker in this whole thing. Yeah, well, one of many things. Really? I feel like I mean, this is like Apollo 13 mission coming up here, you know? No. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you've got your backpack. I and, got my yeah. backpack. I have my backpack. Yes, if you break down out in the middle of yeah, somewhere, I'm, you can just pitch your tent. I'm somewhat self sufficient. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> so it's going to be an epic adventure. Uh, it's probably going to be a three part video, um, you know, because there's going to be a lot to cover. This is a, basically, I'm leaving on Tuesday, and my plan to get my is to get home today. Tuesday night. Right, that's that's, that's my goal. goal. <laughs> Tuesday night. And because uh, I got to go to work and got to go to auctions on Wednesday. So. Uh, You're driving straight to the auction. Yeah, I've done that before. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, what am I doing here? Get your head examined. It don't matter. Does it matter? It does. Does it matter? <laughs> it's. I mean, yeah. every, we all know I'm not. So yeah. it just it doesn't Everybody matter. <laughs> so anyway, hey, stay tuned. Be sure to, you know, we got probably like I said, it's gonna be the first the part. This will probably be part one of three. So I hope you enjoy this venture. We're headed to the airport. So I just kind of giving you a little preview of what's to come. It's awesome. Right along. We'll see you here soon. Leg one complete. Landed in Denver. So waiting for my uh, backpack was too big to put in the overhead, so then check it on the on the plane. I kind of dig the backpack as a suitcase thing. Makes it a lot easier to hustle <laughs> from one gate to another when you got a short layover. Well, I made it to LA. This is my last connection, and I'm at the gate. So haven't uh, missed any flights. So assuming that I can not fall asleep and not make it on this flight, I should be landing in Reading soon. We have made it to Reading, so <laughs> waiting for my backpack slash suitcase. And then going to, actually the gentleman is picking me here at the airport, so excited to see the Mustang. It's like hot out here, it's like 100 degrees out here. So, woo, convertible. Convertible be a lot of fun, convertible season. I see a Mustang. <laughs> Check this thing out. Top down. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Woo! That is awesome. David, how you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome. Awesome. Oh, I had a great flight here. I'm just taking in this Mustang. Wow. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> Love Fox bodies. Oh, that looks great. That looks so awesome. Well, I'm ready to jump in. <laughs> Check this out, 44,000 miles, <laughs> five speed, 5.0. And uh, yeah, we'll have to get back to the house and then you'll have to tell us about this car when we get there. Uh, right now I'm riding shotgun. <laughs> Four-eyed fox. All right, we got back to Dave's house here and uh, so it had a nice little ride in the Mustang. Just, oh man, it sounds so good. You know, I love convertibles because the uh, you hear more of the exhaust and everything, you know? And, and I always love convertibles, you know? A lot of people are like, oh, they want the coupe because it's the faster version, blah, blah, blah. Who cares, man? None of them are fast nowadays. You know what I mean? It's just all about fun. And that's it, yeah. Well, Dave, this is a special car. Tell, tell us about this car here. Tell me tell me the backstory, the history of this guy. Um, What, what happened in uh, 1983 is my dad had purchased from the original owner a 64 and a half Mustang convertible. Uh -huh. And we loved it so much, we had such a blast when uh, he knew there was a 20th anniversary coming out for 1984. Uh -huh. He said, hey, you know what? I wanna buy one. I'm working in Hawaii. He worked for JC Penney Company. Oh, wow. I'm working in Hawaii. Let's see what Honolulu Ford has to offer. Uh -huh. So basically he found out they were shipping three of these vehicles. Really? All three convertibles, of course, wow. for Hawaii weather. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, that's and, awesome. And said, hey, I'm gonna order one. He actually made it so he purchased it on the exact same date uh -huh. that the 64 and a half convertible was done. No way. On April 29th, for 1964, real? 
I lost this on April 29th, 1984. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Yeah, and that's really cool too. And and all of the uh, GT350 anniversary cars, they're all Oxford white. Yes. Yeah, they're, they made them in coupes, convertibles, and they're all Oxford white with the red. I don't know, what do they call the interior? I just call it red, but I don't know if they have a special uh, name for it. It does have a special name, and yeah. it's not hitting me right I looked now, on the but... build sheet, you know, but uh, but yeah, that, then that Oxford white is just awesome and red. Yeah. I'm a sucker. I am a sucker for 80s white cars. <laughs> I mean, I really am. I mean, like, if you've seen some of the ones I've had and, and currently have, I'm just a sucker. That's yes. why when I saw this thing for sale and, you know, and I was like, oh, man, it is so cool. So your dad bought this brand new. Bought a brand new. And then, Lulu Ford. <laughs> on, and then how long did he have it there and when did it come here? Actually, it, it came uh, to the West Coast, um, the mainland, in, in 1985. So it was only wow. there for about a year and a half. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, well, that's probably uh, a good thing because uh, Hawaii can be kind of rough on uh, uh, corrosion, can't it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Big yeah. time. Big time. He oh, thought he was so going to cool. stay there longer. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, good luck for the car's sake. It's good that it came uh, out here to Southern Dry California. It is. And then when did it you is. get the car from your dad? I got it in 2011. Okay. Um, he just wasn't driving it anymore. Right. And he said, hey, um, you need to put some more miles on this. And I tried. <laughs> <laughs> so how many miles have you put on it approximately? Oh, maybe a couple thousand. Oh, well, hey, at least you got it out 11. and yeah. exercised it. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. But now it's kind of a, you know, it's, it's in here I'm going to, you know, be somebody to put 2,000 miles on it in one chunk. Exactly. I'm going to drive this car more in one week than you've driven it, in, driven in, it in, 12 in 12 years. years. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So am I, so are you, are you happy about that or are you like, what is this idiot doing? No, no. She needs to be run. Awesome. She needs to awesome. be run. Yeah. Because I have a, I have a four-eyed fox, it, or an unusual one. I have that 79 Mercury Capri RS Turbo. Yes. Yes. And uh, so this is an awesome, like, you know, kind of yin and yang of the Fox body. It, you know yeah, what I mean? This yeah. is the V8 five speed and then I've got the turbo, you know, but that was Genesis. That was early days. That, that car is, uh, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's got character, but it, 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 1979 was not kind on, on power and emissions. That's for sure. Heck no. Oh my goodness. No. So we got all these cool plaques in there. I kind of showed those. The car is just beautiful. And I tell you, it's kind of funny because you see any Fords from this era with this velour, and especially a convertible, they're they're pink by now. Yes. You know what I mean? They are yes. pink. And look at that. That is unbelievable. The I mean, you can just tell this thing has lived a pretty charmed life. <laughs> well, you're telling me that it got a whole bunch of stuff your dad got with it. What was you showing me there? Yeah. Um, he actually went back to the dealer uh -huh. um, before he transferred back to the main line, mainland. And, and this was what they had on top of the cars oh, to no sell way. them. You mean that was and actually the dealer's promotion? It was the dealer's promotion. Oh it's, my it's goodness! It's a little weathered, but oh, that's you know, a legend awesome. turns twenty and it's got the old one. And oh, then, so he went back to the dealer and got the original he asked him, he promotion. Says, hey, uh, what are you guys going to do with that? You're just going to throw it away, right? Eventually, you don't right? Mind if I have it. Oh. So it, you know, this side shows more of the, yeah. the anniversary and the badges and everything like that. That's so, awesome. Yeah, he was pretty into that. Yeah, he was. Into and then, that. Uh, yeah, because look, see, that's the first year for the SVO. Yes. You know, '84 was the first year for yep. the SVO Mustang. Yep, they were they were promoting. I didn't even think about. It. Yeah, I was just I was like, why? Why do we? I was like, we had an SVO and this on the same page, and I'm like, wait a minute, the SVO did debut in '84. So, and that, that, there's a huge story about uh, SVO. I had one with forty thousand miles on it, Ooh, and I wow. sold it, and I gave it away. It was a long time ago, and it was one of my first cars that I sold on Bring a Trailer. And I mean, you know, there's something you wish you could have back. I wish I had that one back. Yeah, yes. I love those unique cars, but yes. Absolutely. It is so cool. And then he's got a bunch of, uh, so you got the, this dealer thing. That is really cool. Yeah. And yeah. then you had some, uh, all the, all the factory, um, uh, brochures and stuff. Actually that's in the house. Oh, I, okay. I didn't want to leave it in the car, but right, yes, right. I've got that in the house. That toenail cover. Yep. So nice. The nice, and... the nice red. Yeah. Yep. Well, this thing, man, I tell you what, just, uh, I couldn't be happier. The thing looks fantastic. I wish, uh, I looked as good as this car <laughs> after, <laughs> after 30 some years, right? Almost 40. I know, I know. <laughs> and I tell you what, this thing, you know, uh, you're going to love it when, uh, when, when we get it back to Kansas, because I'm going to take it and send it over to my best detail guys, and they're going to polish it out and touch up the chips, and and I'll have some of the Dean's PDR and dent, you know. So this car, this car, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I love taking cars like this that are already, you know, in in super shape, right? Like you you guys have been a great steward of this car, but then just kind of taking it as much as you can back to the glory, you know. Yes. But it's always going to have some patina on it, but. 
hey, I mean, it's an honest car. It's you know like what I mean? The gray hairs I got. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> look white. at you. Yeah, yeah. Now they're white. Yeah, but there's more than I have. You know, <laughs> at least you have gray hairs. Mine, uh, I don't even bother anymore. I just, uh, I just buzz it off. But wow, that is so cool. Such a great story. And you know what we got to do too, is uh, we've got to take a look. Now I was doing some research on this with the five-speed. You know, so actually in '84. You could get a, you know, they had fuel injected and carbureted engines. Yeah. And uh, but only the five speed. See, it's weird that the it's opposite of what you would think. The uh, the carbureted car is the higher horsepower car. I didn't. Yeah. I, didn't, I honestly didn't. Yeah. Know this that. is actually the preferred. This is the performance version of this car. Oh, good. And you and so the five speed came with the four barrel carburetor and the automatic came with fuel injected. Oh, wow. Yeah, isn't that fascinating? That is fascinating. And Good. then, uh, and so I think the car, Good. the fuel injected was 175 horse, and then I believe the car, uh, carbureted was 185 horse. But they still had 250 some foot pounds of torque, I think. So, you know, that's you can back, feel it in a yeah, light car. Right. That's you know, they, that's all they had going for them back in the day. But yeah, I see the old uh, uh, rust proofing that they put on my yeah. Capri has the same stuff. And uh, it's kind of ugly, but it does its job. Yeah. But yeah, I, I personally like, uh, oh, look at the valve covers. Wow, check it out. They're aluminum valve covers powered by Ford. That's cool. Is that factory? I assume yes. it is. Oh, yeah. That is so cool. But it's funny because I'm not, a, I don't, I don't have experience on the paint. I'll let the professionals take care of that. Mm -hmm. But I always do my own engine bays. I, I take, oh, I have a lot of fun well, and detailed engine bays. definitely bay. waiting yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a before, and then you'll see an after here soon. But uh, what an awesome car. That is so cool. And then one of, the, one of the biggest risks of this trip, you know, like the car, I mean, it's an old car, you know, belts, hoses, alternators, you know, any of that stuff can go out. Right. One of the tricky things are these tires right here. Oh, yeah. And uh, Michelin TRX tires. And uh, so I can't exactly stop by uh, any uh, tires plus and get a replacement tire. <laughs> no. I do see a little crack in the tire there. Yeah. So we're gonna pump those suckers up to about 50 PSI. And when you pump them up like that, right, it, it keeps them cooler, you know, cause they flex less. Okay. So when I have old car like this, like I said, I'll pump the tires up. Smart. But uh, yeah, I'll pump the tires up to about 50 PSI and keep it under 100. <laughs> there you go. Under but yeah, 100. that's my big, uh, <laughs> so I better make sure that I got a good spare. At least I have one lifeline, you know. Yeah. I guess the thing is, you know, there's a gazillion Fox body four lug wheels around. I guess I could always get a used wheel <laughs> and tire, nope. you know, and uh, go that way. But look at the condition of those TRX. Those are fantastic. My Capri's got 60,000 miles, but the, the clear coat and stuff is much, has got a lot of more peeling on it and stuff like that. Oh, so, wow. well, awesome. Well, this is so cool. Let's go check out the, uh, the other stuff you got for it. Well, here's some, uh, goodies that come with the car this is always the cool fun this stuff too fun stuff. that little that little, <laughs> little badge right there yeah how Only cool anniversary celebration 84 and a half and i think i thought that was pretty cool on a lulu ford oh that is cool <laughs> that is super cool yeah i mean how many of these you know like we're in honolulu the original keys and Oh, that is so cool. So are these like the, my Capri? My Capri keys are aluminum. No, these feel like steel. Okay. But it's weird. The Capri keys are aluminum. And that was its original plate. Oh, the original plate? Original plate. Oh, my white. goodness. I'm going to run yep. that plate, if you yep. don't mind. No, not at all. It's cool because you can actually, uh, I'm a dealer, you know, so we run D-tags, and I usually oh, just put yeah. it in the window. Yeah. But in Kansas, you can actually register a, a classic car with a vintage plate. You can oh, register, like, wow. like if let's say if I was an individual and I was buying the car, I mm -hmm. could literally register this car, this tag to the car. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Well, and that's Did they cool let you do that? Because it'll, you know, I don't know if California lets you do that or oh, not Oh, no, in California, it's amazing they even let you drive it on the road. <laughs> I know. I think, I think that might be, because that's the oh, original yeah. window sticker. Yeah. There. And How my cool. dad's funny. He made this so it fit. Oh my goodness! How <laughs> but cool! Then that was the that was the bill of sale, or, oh, or, or wow. yeah, buyer's order. Yeah. So what's that price? Wow, fifteen two seventy five or seventy seven. That's that's a lot of money. That's in a lot of money. That is. Hello there. Bean. Hi there. Driving himself crazy. Oh, there but yeah, but you know this this stuff. I think mm. that was when he put a had put a deposit on it or uh -huh. something. Not that's sure. cool. Oh. That's great. Just all the little, that's just the fun stuff. Yeah. Manufacturer cert certification and uh -huh. where he got it from. 
That's so neat just to see all that stuff survive, you know, yeah. with the car. Yeah, it really is. And the, the, you know, the owner's manual, all the stuff you get in the packet. Yeah. <laughs> 84 Mustang. Uh-huh. Information warranty. Oh, there's your tires. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's still under warranty? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Nintendo. What's that toll-free number on there, huh? Roadside exactly. assistance. And, you know, it's funny, I was looking at this and I went, that's right, they did have two different steering wheels. Oh, no kidding. Two, which is weird, showing you how to, to operate Yeah, that well, that actually, I think that's for the SVO. Oh, maybe that, yeah. Yeah, I okay. think that's what that is, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's kind of neat mm -hmm. going through the, you know, the original. That's super cool. The original cool stuff. Oh, this is neat. Yeah, I'm going to have so much fun digging through there. Yes. and Just kind of looking yeah. at all the goodies. And then the years, we kind of have the years of, um. Oh, when I got it, mm -hmm. this was like the, the 2000s, 1990s, then the 80s, and then mm -hmm. from 2011 on, you know, DMV registrations, just receipts of what we did, and mm. all that, that sort of stuff. So my cool. dad was so avid in collecting. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the fun stuff. He was all just little, little crazy. Decals about, and badges yeah. and stickers. Oh, that's you know, the cool. Sticker for the 64 oh, yeah. and a half. Man, I tell you what, the Fox Body guys are just going to love yeah. this. And I the mean, they're being included in one of them. Look at that. Yeah, and then the Owners Association. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, that's Mustang super cool. Owners Association. <laughs> but it's neat because it talks, you know, this is like what was given to a dealer. Oh, so this is like dealer literature. And yeah. That's cool that he took the time to go back and like get all that stuff. It, it is. It is, you know, it talks about the, that one's about the coupe, and of course they have the mm -hmm. fastback in the, mm -hmm. in the back, and then it gets into the convertible. And mm. well, that is cool. Neat. It is. It's, it's neat super stuff. neat. And they show the old convertible too. It's funny, there's, um, I think there's a writing in there that talks, um, that he had talked to somebody shortly after he had bought the car, mm -hmm. and he said, well, we can't talk about it because we're in litigation. No kidding. With with Shelby because oh, of what wow. he did. So I, I think there's some notes in here about really? that. Really? No yeah, kidding? Yeah. And then the, there was an anniversary um, owners association, which uh -huh. one of those stickers was for. Right. And that's just the application for that. Oh, okay. But well, That is cool. Yeah, it's neat when they do special stuff like that. And speaking of cool old Fords, I understand you have another Ford. Is it here? Yes. Can we see it? Yes. Sure oh can. my goodness, you guys. We sure can. Okay, everybody watching this video, <laughs> go ahead and sit down, you know, because this car is incredible. All right, Dave is taking us to the garage. And oh my gosh, I can already I can already see the wheels here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta come around and see the front end of this car. Holy <laughs> cow. Oh my gosh. Yes, folks, this is a real GT500 KR Shelby 68. 1968. 68. Yeah. And you told we talked about this car. Oh my goodness. Oh, my heart is racing. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. And uh, yeah, you told me a little bit about this car, but tell everybody the story behind this car. Well, um, her name's Elizabeth. Okay. Because there's a lot of variations depending on if anybody knows how old cars are, uh -huh. you can say, oh, Elizabeth's been a good girl. Or you can say, <laughs> Lizzie's been a... Oh, uh, yeah. You can kind of, yeah. Because it's an old So I'm, I'm, I'm Bob and everything's good, but they're in trouble. Robert! <laughs> that's it, that's it. That's it. Oh, my goodness. Well, we, we um, I actually, when my dad was in... Um, Hawaii. Uh huh. This thing came up for sale locally in Southern California, and Oceanside. No way. And oh my gosh! We got it from the second owner. Oh, <laughs> this. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm no, having a moment no. here. This is probably my favorite tail end. Oh, it is. Of yes. of any car in history. I mean, this right here to me <laughs> is just it. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. I was getting a little emotional here. Right. <laughs> and a man. We got from of a Marine on Camp Pendleton Base uh -huh. that had come back from, I believe, Texas. Wow. And he wanted to restore his 1966 Mustang Fastback. Yeah. And I was in the Mustang stuff at that time. Uh -huh. Worked for Mustang Shop in Garden Grove. Wow. And he 
had advertised this so we could get money. Right. <laughs> to work on this six days. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. We've all been there, right? You know, and you got to sell knew, one thing to do another. If he only knew. I mean, back then, in 83. So you bought this in 83? In 83. Wow. Yeah, in 83. And if you don't mind sharing, what did you have to pay for it in 83? Because it's irrelevant now. Well, he was asking five grand at the time. <laughs> and you think about it, that was about what the car was new. So that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. For a used old dinosaur, essentially. Yes. yes. Yeah. But I ended up doing a lot of work. I traded yeah. him steel style wheels for his Mustang. Really? You know, did a lot of work for him. Yeah. And it was a lot less than that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Done. But the funny thing is, it's just they were asking five grand. You yes. know, and that is. And you even you know, did your magic and even got it cheaper. Yes. Oh my goodness, and Mustang, I see another little Mustang hiding back there. Yeah. Another red Mustang. We're in Mustang heaven right now. <laughs> let's, let's, let's see this, this here. Do we have any music or any, uh, <laughs> dun, 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 like a, yeah. ah, <laughs> look at that, oh my gosh. Original right down to the smog, which no is crazy. Way. That's what they had to do in 68. Yeah, because even in, Cal you know, even in California, even in this year, they probably had special California stuff. They did, did they? but this is the way the majority of them came. Wow. Uh, with the smog rails and everything on them. Oh, really? Okay. okay. So it wasn't like a California uh, no. emissions car? No. Huh. Okay. I didn't know when they started, you know, specific California. Yeah. Look at the shock towers and look at the shocks that come up there. And, uh, and look at... <laughs> How did they fit that motor in between those shock towers? Yeah, try changing the plugs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rotation tag. Yeah. And and once somebody looks at it that knows what they're looking for, they'll can, go, can I video that? Oh yeah. Okay. They'll they'll say, uh, wait a minute, that says green metallic. Well, <laughs> Dave wanted a red Shelby. Yeah. So But you know what though? It doesn't matter, you know. I mean, you want a red Shelby, you got an awesome red Shelby, and the car, the value of the car, the significance of the car, right? You enjoy this car, oh, yeah. right? Like it is. But the bottom line is, is it's a paint color. It could be put back. You know be. what I mean? You haven't really, yes, the color's changed, but you know, you haven't really hurt the car. Right. No, that's, that's, that's just paint. I feel about it. If somebody yeah. cares if I ever sell my firstborn. Right, <laughs> right. You know, and that's just it. And you know what's great is, I mean, it's like an older, you know, restoration it and is. stuff. Yeah. yeah. But that's what's great because you can drive it and it's not worry driver. about a scratch. It's, See, it's, this is perfect. That's my favorite compliment when we're ever at car shows. People yeah. say, they'll look and they'll go, oh, it's a driver. Yes. <laughs> but you can enjoy that car. That's one thing about that Torino. It, I couldn't afford to keep it even if I wanted to. But the thing was perfect. You know, and it, it'd be terrifying to drive that car. That's it. You know? That's it. I mean, that thing was worth, I mean, uh, well, probably almost, as much as this car. Well, you probably can't yeah. even put a value on No, like no, that. yeah, it's so <laughs> rare. Exactly, exactly. And look at the old. Now, are these actually old tires or are they reproductions? They are reproductions. Okay, but that looks awesome. I love that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I see all these cars go through the auctions, Barrett Jackson and Meekin and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And they put all these modern wheels on these old cars i just can't stand it i can't I'm stand it that, yes oh i, I mean, can't stand it train of thought too. you know if somebody wants it to do kind of a resto weight. mod and they put the ac in and maybe a different engine and the car was just a base six cylinder to start with you know what i mean you know i you know okay right here but but you know but i like to make it kind of look original yes. you know and the, and the wheels and tires and yes. and uh you know it just doesn't aesthetically it doesn't work no, I you know, agree. you upgrade, uh, you upgrade the anemones. Uh, I can't even say it, anem anemones and the power and the AC and stuff. That's one thing, but you want the car to look like it that. Needs to look like it came from '68. That's 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 <laughs> my thoughts. Oh my gosh! Well, and my wife is forever saying, "You know, hon, there's a split in the seat." Well, yeah. it's original, hon. That's, well, but what about this? Yeah, no, it's a badge of honor. The original '68 oh, interior. My See, that, that's, it's only original once. You know what it I mean? Is. No, that's awesome. I got a buddy of mine who is a Ford nut. I mean, he is the Ford go-to guy. And, and uh, he has a, they have a lot of Fords. Him and his dad, um, you know, and he's got a, a 68 uh, Fastback, I think. Um, and then they actually have an original 289 Cobra. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. He's a big, he's still got his. First car from high school, it's a, a 70 uh, Boss 302. Oh my God. He still has it from high school, yeah. So he is going to freak on this car. Well, Boy, this one's for you, brother. Yeah, it's cool, because a, a good friend of mine when we were storing the, the 64 yeah. convertible, 
he had a 70 Boss 302, and he's like, hey, let's race. And I'd say, yeah, once we get on the freeway, I'll race you. <laughs> and he's like, well, that's not fair. And I said, dude, you got a small block. I got yeah. a big block. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. I got to get rolling, and then I'll pass you. <laughs> he, he took me for, just recently, he took me for a ride in that, in that Boss 302. I had no idea. I had no idea. No, how much the RPMs and the screaming and how fast that car was. You know, I really, I had no, it's a race car. It is a race it car. It truly, yeah, I, it blew my mind. We're going on the on-ramp and he hits the gas and it was just like, whoop, whoop. And I'm like, what? I mean, totally, I did not see that coming. Used to these big blocks and they're all torque and no RPMs. Right. That, right. I mean, I don't know what, I think they're running those things, what, eight grand or something. It's nuts. It is nuts. It is. He it it is blew nuts. me away, but uh, well, it's it's fun when you're on the freeway going 55, 60 yeah. miles an hour, and you drop it into second with this thing. Yeah, and yeah. People are like second, it's like yeah, they're pretty tall gears. Watch. <laughs> never, never change this car though. I mean, the, the, what's so cool about it is how how long ago did you paint this car? And you told 19, me like you did it yourself. You tore it down. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. You see, because now we're pretty matching. You know what I'm saying? You know, the interior to the body. And I, the worst thing you could do would be repaint this car. I agree. You know, because this car needs to stay just like it is. And then someday, it, you know, if somebody wanted to restore it, you know, then you'd basically have to do the whole car. You know, you'd yeah. basically break it completely down, put it back to the green, you know, redo the interior or whatever. But, but yeah, but no, this car is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Well, Dave, thank you so much for sharing this. This is just, this is awesome. And this, you know, I love the, the 84, but really I was excited to see this one Good. probably as much as anything. And I'm Good. glad, thank you for showing it to us. But, Good. well, I guess uh, I, I'm going to leave the top down and see how long I can handle the, the heat. <laughs> but go. uh, I'm going to jump in the car and uh, go put uh, some fuel in it and head towards San Francisco. So I guess we will roll on Dave. Absolute all pleasure, right. brother. Thank I you, mean, Bob. I love what I love about these adventures and doing these things is, you know, we're all car people and, you know, but, you know, I'm your customer in a sense, you know, but I have customers that I sell cars to, but all our customers, they all become friends. Yeah. You know, that's what, that's what the car hobby really should be about. It is. It yeah. Is. And it's neat to carry that forward. You're right. Really right. That's yeah. Awesome. So it's going to be so much fun. All right, guys, next step, I'm going to jump in the Mustang and hit the road. <laughs> So Dave here is wishing me well. I'm strapped in and uh, got all my, <laughs> Dave's laughing at my setup here. I got my FM modulator, so I got 1984 music playing and uh, my radar detector for my uh, speed and radar. And Dave's laughing at me. I'm driving in an 84 car and I got all this technology in it, so he's giving me a hard time. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we're rolling out and we're gonna get this thing uh, on the highway. All right, we're on the road, headed to San Francisco. Uh, man, was Dave an awesome guy or what? Uh, it, you know, buying these cars, I mean, I love cars, but I love the people and the stories even more. Um, you know, just, I don't know, it's just so much fun. That's why, you know, most of the time, you know, you're just gonna ship a car like this. And uh, I'm not, I haven't made it home yet. So, you know, <laughs> don't want to be uh, jinxing myself and, and bragging too much. But, you know, even if something goes wrong, I mean, you know, I could be driving a modern car and it could break down on me. It's just, that's just cars. But, uh, but meeting the people and the, hearing the stories firsthand, it's just something special. And it just makes the car even that much more special. I talked to Dave quite a bit on the phone. We texted and stuff because I bought this car, you know, several, several weeks ago and uh, just timed it to where it's like, oh, hey, I'll just come out Monterey Car Week and just kind of make a adventure trip out of it. But uh, so much fun. It just, like I said, just, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this ride along, but I can't believe it right now. This thing is riding perfect. Look at that, the wheel is dead smooth. The, 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 I thought there'd be a little flat spotting, honestly, but we're fueled up. Uh, the car is fully serviced, brakes and oil and everything. Dave had just done that. 60 miles ago so uh it's, it's all good it, it absolutely drives fantastic these seats are super duper comfortable so my first impressions of this car are just i, I couldn't be happier and uh, people think i'm crazy for driving a 1984 but car you know halfway across the country but you know what i mean this thing is comfortable i you know you know barring any mechanical stuff just from a, a pure uh, uh 
Who's that? Well, I just lost my windshield. That's part of the casualties here. Just not even a few miles away. And if you look here, that landscaping truck right behind me just threw a rock at me and starred up my windshield. You probably heard and saw me flinch and jump. I'm sure you saw it on the camera too. But, uh, well, that's, that's the stuff that comes with the adventure. It could happen anywhere. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not going to let it dampen, dampen my spirits. It is what it is. Call my buddy up at the crack cat, Dennis, and see if he can't uh, do a little bit of work on it. But, uh, anyway, rolling down the road, just going to enjoy this trip. What I was saying is, you know, uh, you know aside from the, you know, mechanical reliability stuff, from a, a, a comfort standpoint, you know, these cloth seats, velour seats are super comfortable. And uh, I mean, I'm, I know I just started, but I'm feeling no pain. So well, let's get down the road here a little ways and uh, turn on my 84 music on my Spotify and rock out and just enjoy the drive. We'll touch base again soon. Made it to San Francisco. San Francisco Bay, I guess. <laughs> Went from 110 degrees to like 60 degrees. It's crazy. Pretty crazy. Super cool bridge. San Francisco, actually Hillsboro, California. Really funny story. Uh, I graduated from Hillsboro. My cousin lives in Hillsboro. Our parents are from Hillsboro's. I mean, we've got a connection with Hillsboro, but a perfect trip, no issues at all. And uh, here is my best bud. Check it out, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Right. Hi, sir. But yeah, so Mike's putting me up. Uh, I'm a I'm a car bum this week, I guess, huh? <laughs> so what do you think? Tell me, Mike. You said you had this car, right? You had basically had, what what did you have? Same car, 1985. I got a 1984 Mustang GT, black on black on black. That's right. And you said you drove it to our wedding. Yes, I did. I, I can't I've believe it. it. To your house, so really? It's at your house. In wow, that's awesome. So yeah, and we both have a connection 80, with Fox 80, Bodies. Eighty-nine, somewhere there, Fox. That is awesome. So this brings back some memories, it doesn't it? A lot it? of memories. Well, you're gonna have to take this thing for a drive in the morning just to, <laughs> for a flashback. But I made it to my destination here. This is the end of leg one, and uh, and so it is a success. <laughs> yeah, more to come. Yeah, we've got a lot. Got a lot. Yeah, getting home. That's gonna be the trick, you know. <laughs> getting home so leg one complete uh stay tuned for lots more fun take her easy